Hi, Colonel O'Brien here. Uh, I just want to thank everyone so much uh, for presenting me with the first annual Lifetime Achievement Shorty Award. Uh, this is very cool. I'm so excited. Um, I know that everyone there tonight, uh, the rule is if you give a speech, you're limited to 140 characters. Uh, but I was told that if you send in a video, that rule doesn't apply. Now, I don't want to take advantage of this fact, but I'd be remiss if I didn't just briefly read from The Power Broker. It's Robert Moses in the Fall of New York, a landmark work by uh, Robert Caro that really gets into the nuts and bolts of well, how New York City was built in the 20s and 30s and 40s by a brilliant man. I'll start with, uh, well, chapter one, best place to start, line of succession. <clears throat> Robert Moses was born on December 18th, 1888. He was not given a middle name because his mother saw no reason for one. After the tenants had been rushed out of their homes, it turned out that there had been no real need to rush after all. To obtain the initial state consent to build the Cross Bronx Expressway, Moses had, as usual, drastically underestimated its cost. Chapter 27, Changing. Power and personality, interplay. The young Robert Moses, immersed in his dreams, had been totally uninterested in power. R.M. was right as usual, they whispered. Couldn't people see what he had done? Why weren't they grateful? <sighs> Bibliography. Allen, comma, Frederick Lewis, The Big Change, New York, Harper and Row, 1952. And Zenger, comma, John Peter, comma, page 648. So in brief, thank you very much. This means a lot to me.